they just like run in circles all the time just to get filming themselves leaving places and then coming in places? I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Just got to the gym. Now all I gotta do is take my Misfits workout straight from their website. I am on cycle one, week four, day three. I don't know if it's focusing, but I'm gonna write it on the board. Today we are going to floss, and then three rounds of, I'll show you what our warm up is, I'll put it on the screen, and then back squats, and then some bitch work, and then Randy, because that is what the class is on the board. Their board is over there. Focus. You can't see, but Randy is what the classes are doing today. So we're gonna do Randy, which is 75 snatches for time at 75.55. And then for our strength work today, it's gonna be six sets of seven strict pull-ups. Let's get it done. These is like five feet, right? Yeah. So one, that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So pretty much to the end of the rig is a 30 foot handstand walk. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> so. 10 lateral squats, handstand walk, and then ring rows, which the rings are right here. Three rounds, warm up. No, it's just a ring row, not dips. If you can't do the handstand walk on the floor, just do like, I would say from that little, that thing and put one in the box, maybe? That's probably 30 feet. Yeah. With my face towards, right? Yes, with your nose to the wall. So for those that can't do handstand walks on the floor, Andy's showing you how to get it done. Good job, Andy. How many of the rainbows? Ten. Oh shit! Oh, five feet away. Oh. So. Don't go over it if you're not feeling good today. I'm not feeling good, it's just my knees. What's 315? Good. What percentage is that? That's like 70%. Well, so on Monday, we we're supposed to do five by five, that's 77 and a half. You can go ahead and do that. Um, so today, I'm doing four by four at 87 and a half. Come on, knees, please. My lifters. 180 times 0.875. 155 is my working set today. That's so heavy for me. Four? All right, I think I did three by, I, that's my weight I did for three by three last week I did. Yeah, yeah. So four by four this week. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I warm up to that. So typically what I do from warm up for my squats is I'll do 10 to 20 reps of the empty bar and then I'll usually per personally go up to 95 and then I'll probably go 115, and then from there work up to whatever my max is for that day, or whatever working weight I am for that day. So we're gonna go up to 95 right now, and I'm gonna do eight reps. Yeah, eight reps at 95 pounds. Yeah. 
One more. Push. Nice. And November 18th. I don't know what that little robot drawing is, but November 18th, we're doing a partner competition, right, Andy? Yep. Partner it up. But we're going to kill it. Me and this one right here. Um, I'm about to do my first set at 155. Let's do this. Two more, Charles. Good. One down, three to go. We're gonna do Randy now, which is 75 snatches. He's going 75, yep. I'm going 55. What's your strategy and plan? I'm going four sets of 15. If I have the 15 for the last, I'll go last 15. If not, 10 and 5. Four sets of 15, 10 and 5. Yeah, I can't Seven do that. <laughs> so my yes, plan is seven sets of 10 and the last set being five. I've never done Randy, so I really don't know what to expect. I mean, either way, it's PR, right? It's so, I mean, time, yeah. first time doing Randy, either way, it's PR. Good. I'm good. I'm good. You got it. Either way. So, let's see how this goes. Last ten, Andy. After 15, I felt good, so I went to 20. Oh, shoot. First set. Dropped it, did 10. Got to 30. Did 15. Got to the 45, did 5, and got to 50. Then after that, 5, 5, 5, the last one, 10. Finish it off. Nice. Hey, you still beat my time. 640? Yeah. Nice job. Oh, and there goes my battery. Bye, you guys. I will yeah. close the ending at the end of this. Bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm back home from CrossFit and I wanted to come and show you guys what I made for dinner last night. Um, so what Josh and I have been doing lately is I like to crock pot meals, which I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. I'll usually buy the ingredients all like the night before. So last night, for example, Josh doesn't get home till like 10.30 at night usually. So I went grocery shopping with him at 10.30 at night. We ended up finishing cooking and everything at like 11.30. Um, and so I put everything in the crock pot and so that way when we woke up in the morning, we'd have our meals for the next day and probably the next four to five days. Um, so what we made, well, what I made, sorry, Josh, I'm taking this credit. <laughs> um, so let me look at my phone real fast. So what I did is I went in my fitness pal app and I made what I call just chicken pot. Um, one serving is, and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. One serving is 470 calories and it's going to be nine grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs and 72 grams of protein. Now a full serving that I have in my fitness pal is a full chicken breast. Um, I usually can't eat a full chicken breast. That's just way too much for me. And so what I usually do is just cut that recipe in half and just put half serving. Um, but the recipe includes, so I, what I, I put into this crock pot, um, 
was a whole thing of chicken breast, which when I bought it on the package, it said 5.6 pounds. I put uh, 1.8 cups of sweet golden corn, which I believe was, yeah, it's just one can. Um, so one can of sweet golden corn, no salt added. Um, one can of kidney beans, two cans, I believe, of original diced tomatoes and green chili, which the Rotel. Um, and then a can of diced tomatoes with jalapenos because Josh refuses to eat anything unless it's spicy. <laughs> I don't really care for spicy stuff, but he does. Um, and then I added a cup or one can of like the mini, it's 1.2 cups of chicken broth. So it's more like a chicken soup <laughs> because of the chicken broth, but this is what I made last night. I don't know if it's looking as good as it tastes, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. But that's what I made last night. I should probably stir it. <laughs> so what I've been eating that with is we make rice also. So we made some rice. And there is my screen. We usually cook like a bunch of rice and just at a time as we need it. So I had my chicken soup with, I think I had 70 grams of rice. I had a full serving earlier and I couldn't even eat it all. So I put the rest of my serving in the fridge and all in like a Tupperware container. Um, and I'll be eating it later. But that's just an easy, easy example of a meal you guys can make so way you can stay on your macros and stay healthy. Um, I have one training training client who I had her put her daily salada mix. She loves wearing a salada. And maybe I'll make a video about how you can eat out like at restaurants like that, like salada. Um, as long as you order the same thing or similar um, and easy ways to adjust it and so that way you don't have to go into slot and put I had corn I had beans I had this every single time you can just have your recipe um, and then just click it every single time you go to Salada and make it really nice and easy and have your serving size pre-made so let me know if you guys would like a Salada video because Salada is sounding pretty delicious right now and I'll make you guys a video for that um, but other than that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions comments or concerns leave a comment below and I will help you out as much as I can. Don't forget to check out, I also launched my new website. It's chelsealeesfit.com and let me know what you guys think about it. All right, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye. I just realized I probably talk really, really fast for a lot of these people. Sorry, not sorry.